So on YouTube, this is Atomic Laser coming to you with the <clears throat> mail day slash recap video. Um, this is just some stuff I've had in the past two weeks. I've been kind of slowing down and collecting because I just haven't had the time really. Don't really want to spend the time looking through eBay and all that stuff. I haven't really had the time. Just busy with school and other stuff. And uh, drumming cards are really rising in value, so they're coming harder and harder to um, get because I don't want to pay like 40 bucks for a card I could have gotten like for 15, but I can get for like 15 bucks. So yeah, um, but I do have some stuff. So yeah, I'll show that what I got. And then I, I also broke uh, four packs of Prism. I'll show what I got from that later, or after my mail list stuff. So first, I got a package from Michael Yu. This came in a few weeks ago. Just haven't got around to making a video for it yet, so I'll show what I got. Um, he sent me two extras. He sent me this Chauncey Billups jersey card and this Chauncey Billups insert, which I'm really thankful for. Oh, this is uh, something else. Then what I bought off him was a Kenneth Free and Ricky Otto and this Kendrick Perkins auto that I actually had given it to him before from a uh, mystery pack. But I need it for the set, which I'm restarting. So yeah, thank you for that. Right now to the other stuff. First we got um, this random insert I found for pretty cheap. It's Tayshaun, it's a Chauncey Billups with, uh, or Tayshaun Prince, Tayshaun, Tayshaun Prince and Cha Chauncey Billups. And why I can't say that. And it's a, uh, one of those co-signers dual card that's out of 89. So it says Chauncey on the back, but it says Tation on the top and then Chauncey on the bottom. So I don't know how that goes. Whatever. Cool card out of 89. Thick card stock. I actually have some stuff in the Prism. The Prism team set. Uh, I got this Tony Mitchell. Red, white, and blue. Tony Mitchell green. We got a Chauncey regular refractor. Joe Dumars refractor. Isaiah Thomas refractor. Josh Smith red. And Brandon Jennings red. So just to show you how much I have for that right now. Um, I have all of this. So, I mean, I got this new stuff I haven't sorted yet. I got like all these greens, reds. I only have two blues right now. I have all the mosaics except for Grant, or, uh, Grant Hill. And they have the light blues. Oranges. I only have a few um, purples, but uh, yeah. So, if you have anything, uh, uh, any Pistons prism, let me know. Also looking for golds. I don't have any golds yet, but I'm looking for those also. So yeah. All right, on to some other stuff I picked up. I got this Hakeem Work autograph for the set. Really wanted an autograph of this guy. He was really good way back in the day. Uh, Baron Davis. Got this for pretty cheap, so pretty excited. The seller sent in this like screw down thing, so I'll just keep it in there for now. And it's numbered out of 475 from Fleer Ultra Skybox. And then my two like big cards, both of these are going to be going to Magnetics. The first one is Andre Drummond Gold Strike Auto out of 75. Really been looking for this. I can't remember if I showed this or not already, but it's an awesome card. Let me just, this is dirty. There, now you can see it. Boom, out of 75. Then finally, I picked up an autograph of this guy. I've been waiting for him to go down in price, but um, really needed this to complement my Tim Hardaway Jr. auto. It's a Trey Burke rookie auto from Timeless Treasures, Jersey auto. Very nice card. Like I said, both of those going to make next. All right, and then I picked up uh, four packs. I think four packs, maybe five. Pretty sure it was four. Four packs of Prism. So I'll show you what I got from that. Uh, that was pretty crazy. Got this uh, Gorgi Ding, or Georgi Ding rookie card, R. Kelly rookie card, uh, Victor Oladipo rookie card, J.J. Redick refractor, and this James Worthy out of 49. This was in the last pack. In the second to last pack, I saw I saw uh, this, so I figured, oh, it's just a base pack with nothing in it, you know, maybe just a rookie card or whatever. So and then I go to the last card. I thought it was an HRX, but really it was this um, Rick Fox Black 101. I saw the black and I thought it was an HRX card. So I was looking at it like, whoa, what's this? This is weird. Because originally I was just fanning the cards just to see if I got gold. So I was hoping for a gold or maybe a Prism Auto. But I pulled this, which is even crazier. I was super excited when I got it. And there's the 101 on the back. So I'm definitely probably going to keep this unless I get a ridiculous offer. 
buying or trading ridiculous ridiculous offer most likely I'm gonna keep it because I've always been saying I've always said I'm gonna keep my first one one and I really like this card it looks amazing so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching